Hey everybody. Today we're going to be bashing on yet another new in the box OEM computer system. I highly recommend you go ahead and watch my part one series of why I hate OEM computer systems. It's an older video, which I'll have an annotation to it. Go ahead and watch that video and then check, that, check this video out. Today we're doing it with Compaq, which is basically an HP. I recently did an HP desktop, which I highly recommend you go ahead and watch that video because it's, it's quite funny. But here's our Compaq computer system fresh in the box. Not sure if Geek Squad has messed with this one or not, but we'll find out. Go ahead and unpackage the system. Apparently they haven't because here is the lithium ion battery. Usually when Geek Squad messes with the computers, they will install the battery and everything. There's the battery set to the side. And here is the laptop computer. Customer of mine brought this machine in to have the typical wipe and reinstall done to it to eliminate the OEM bullcrap. Of course, it's a, basically an HP computer. Here is, let's see what we have here. We have, take note, whatever this is, we have, well, this is HP accessories, this little booklet here. We have getting started guide. Norton, 16 free trial, activate now. I hate Norton. Microsoft, Windows Live. How much you want to bet it's the older version? Another little thing about HP accessories. Save 15% on HP accessories. And telephone support. And package this stuff back up. I would just throw this away, but it's not my computer, so I ain't gonna do that. Besides, they're not getting Norton inhale. If anything, they'd be getting McAfee on this machine. Matter of fact, McAfee's gonna be installed on this computer. They already have a three user copy. This will be the third user of the whole copy so Norton you're not going to make any money off this machine sorry <clears throat> okay of course here's the computer so luckily this one hasn't been tampered with yet I suppose I don't see any thumbprints or fingerprints or anything on this machine good it hasn't been tampered with yet it still has the genuine compact sticker on it. Has one of seven home premium. And here's a new computer. There we go. Get a better view of it here. Go ahead and set it up. First thing first, we'll go ahead and install the battery. We'll scratch this machine up. I'm gonna Top. Yeah, making sure we can't see the one that's seal. I don't need to be re revealing the key. Okay, I'm going to install the battery. Batteries installed. Now it's time to go ahead and plug it in and get started. This is now my channel has a length of video time. I can actually go on and sh show some more procedures. And yeah, we have a few more things in the box. Begin here. 
AC adapter, and the power cord. Look at this right quick for uh, go ahead and set up some more. Oh, I had the typical put it together guide. Unpack the box. Insert the battery. Connect to external power. Turn on your computer and follow the on screen instructions. Which, if this is just like HP, I don't know how to bypass their little total care setup thing. Windows Task Manager. So this is inside because we gotta pack it back up. It's gonna be right back up in a, as a Christmas present. Okay, let's get started here. Of course, the power cord comes with this little handy Velcro thingy. Well, I say it's handy, but it can get tangled up a little bit sometimes. Okay. Gonna plug it up. Wherever there's some plugs up at down here. And then plug in our power cord. Okay, it's time to get started. Anyways, like I stated before in previous videos, I cannot stand how OEM computers come pre installed with this free trial junk. Good name for it's junkware. Alright, let's get started. Let's turn it on. Ah, boy, let's go exploring. First startup. Yeah, about time. I thought something was wrong with it for a second. Okay. Starting Windows. This is Windows 7 starting for the first time. Which, of course, will be slower than a regular Microsoft install of Windows 7. Because, you know, OEMs, they go in and they highly tamper with Windows and include all that free trial junk and all their screen savers. And all, I mean, they just really mess Windows up, in my opinion performance wise <clears throat> I'm not going to trim this portion out I'm just going to let you guys see how long it takes for this computer to be ready normally when I was still with the old 15 minute time limit I'd have to trim all this stuff out but since I can go on limits of my videos, I'll just go ahead and let you guys see exactly how long these things take to get started. This right here is typical for Windows 7. Sometimes it'll say detecting graphics performance, all that kind of stuff. It really depends. <clears throat> Not too awful bad. Oh, look at that desktop, will you? And look at here. Compact. Let's just say user. Because this computer's getting its... Because this computer's getting its hard drive formatted soon anyway. And look here. Here's another thing that HP has tampered with. Normally, in Windows Vista and Windows 7, when you're going in to type in username, it gives you a sample computer name. Normally it says user dash PC, but in this case it says user dash HP. Remember, this is, I mean, HP manufactured a computer, but you know, it's still a PC. 
Really, in, really, in fact, it's a compact. But anyway, let's go. Don't need a password. Of course, here is the typical license terms you get with Windows 7. Let me zoom in a little bit. Get a little closer. Accept those license terms. Hey, let's go down a little bit. Hmm, this don't look familiar. What's this license agreement for? This is for HP. I mean, they didn't. I mean, Windows manufactured the software. Microsoft made the Windows product, not HP. Say recommended settings. Which, of course, those license agreement for HP is saying, no, you can't upgrade your computer unless you're out of warranty. If you open your computer, your warranty's void and all of that and that and that. That's why I can't stand OEMs. And the clock is way off on this machine. It is really, in fact, 545. But on this computer, it's 945. Way off. The date is correct. It is Saturday. I'm going to skip this portion. Okay. Here shortly we shall be nabbed with all the free trial junk. The Norton. And probably some other stuff too. And of course, like with any OEM, they love to go in and put in all their pictures and everything. They can't just leave it original. Back in the day when I was working with Windows XP computers, I did install a different theme which was called Royale Remixed. Which did put in a, a different Microsoft background and a different Microsoft theme. But I never put Q Computer Company or anything in my pictures on the computer that I set up. This also applies to Vista and Windows 7. I just set the computer up, install open source free software. Everything on my on my computers is open source and free. And people seem to enjoy what I install. They make use of my software. Such as OpenOffice Donald 3.2. A lot of people love Firefox and some people like Google Chrome. Some people like the IOBit Smart Defrag. I install XP and Vista computers. I mean, I rarely see times where people are uninstalling the software that I put on computers. Unlike with OEMs, most of the time they'll be uninstalling the free trial junk. What the heck is this? Yeah, this, this must be going in and, and throwing in all the free trial stuff. Can't wait to see what they put in. Which on HP computers, they put this little Windows 98 looking progress bar saying preparing your desktop. Has the old blocky font and everything. It's been 13, 14 minutes since I started this video. <clears throat> Not exactly sure how long it's been since I turned the machine on. See, on my computers, Windows is already set up and ready to go. You just turn the machine on and you go online within a few minutes. Compact. Hmm, what the heck is this? Oh, yeah. Look here. Welcome to your new compact computer. Let's go. This is really stupid. Control, delete, let's get out of this. Yes, let's get out of this. Start test manager. Total care setup. Okay. Should we end the test this time? Or shall I show you exactly the junk that they throw in here? Let's just go ahead and just go on with this. On the HP desktop I worked on last time, I just ended the task. So, what does it say? No, and... Register later. This is taking an awful long time, isn't it? Stay updated. What the heck is this? 
Support updates and alerts. No. 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 Next. Protect your PC now with Norton. Activate now. Look here. It says for options. Yes. Activate Norton Internet Security. Recommended. N or no. Do not activate Norton Internet Security. In parentheses, you will be reminded later. They don't even bother to take into consideration that most people who buy these computers already have antivirus software. They either bought it from the store or they already had it on file. Besides, I mean, I'd just go online and get ABG free if I was looking for an antivirus, soft antivirus program. I don't care for Norton. Really don't. I've already heard enough problems with Norton. Are you sure? You will be unprotected against the latest viruses, identity theft, and other threats. Norton Air Security helps protect your PC without slowing you down. Are you sure you want to skip turning on Norton Air Security? Yes. Actually, Norton does slow your computer down. If you're not mistaken, are you, they're still using the same software they've, the same programming scheme they've used for all these years, and it's a resource hog. Finish compact setup. How about we just go in and end? No, we'll just go ahead and finish. I could just end the task. Look here. Step one, register. You chose to register your computer later. Step two, stay updated. You chose not to receive alerts from HP. Step three, protect your PC. You chose not to activate Norton Internet Security. Step four, get online. Your computer is not connected to the internet. Finish. Get out of here. Thank you. Now taking you to your desktop. Just for anybody who purchases an HP computer, I highly recommend you to hit Control Delete and get out of that. You don't have to go to that bullcrap. Personalized settings. I tell you what, these OEM computers can have some of the most stupid looking backgrounds I've ever seen. Okay, next step. Let's go ahead and look through all the pre-installed junk. Let's go ahead and look here at the taskbar. We have Interact Explorer, Windows Explorer, and Media Player. Those programs are in Windows 7 by default, not the HP Advisor, which is pinned to the taskbar. This HP Advisor has got to be some of the dumbest software I've ever seen. It pops up there on your desktop. This gives you another little set of shortcuts. <laughs> To HP stuff in your Norton online free trial. Activate now. Okay. Let me show you guys the easy way to get out of this. Just like how you would bypass the total care setup on these computers. All you gotta do is right click and say task manager. And we'll go over to applications, HP advisor doc. We'll go to process. You can end task by I think this is probably the easiest method. It clears it immediately. HP Advisor Doc will end that process. And tell it goodbye. Now let's go ahead and look here at the icons in the notification area. See what kinds of crap they have there. We have Realtek HD Audio Manager, Synaptix Pointing Device, CPU to test Task Manager, Norton Internet Security, activate now! ATI. And this software WLAN controller that HP has decided to install. You know what? Let's just go ahead and get rid of that. I don't think we really need software to control our wireless card, whether to, to connect to a network or not.
Now we'll go ahead and open this wireless assistant. As soon as I can. Okay. Now we'll go ahead and close this out in task. Goodbye. Now we'll go ahead and use the Windows integrated controller for wireless cards. I mean, isn't this so much more simple than using third party programs? I mean, Windows has had wireless capability built into the operating system ever since Windows XP. I mean, it's not Windows ME anymore, so I really don't understand why they're including software to control your wireless card. I think this is a much better approach here what's in Windows 7 and Windows Vista. Let's now go ahead and look here at what's included in the programs. And I imagine we'll be running into a whole bunch of free trial stuff too. Okay, start from the very top. We have the Reader 9, Default Programs, Desktop Gadget Gallery, eBay, HP Download Store. Yeah, they try to make money off of you. Internet Explorer 64 bit, Internet Explorer. LoJack Pro for HP Product Tools, Protect Tools. It must be some kind of locking software, I don't know. Microsoft Default Manager, Office 2010. This is not free, you gotta buy the key. I was thinking we'll just put OpenOffice. Not org on this machine, have it over with. Sorry, Microsoft. Snapfish. Windows Anytime Upgrade. Windows DB Maker. These are all Windows components along with Internet Explorer, Desktop Gadget Gallery, Default Programs, and so on and so forth. Those are Windows components, such as the Media Center, Media Player, Windows Update, XPS Viewer. This Windows Live ID, I bet you this Windows Live is not even the latest version. Yeah, we're just now getting down to accessories. Kyle's Control Center, this is ATI. Cyberlink DVD. I don't really understand why they're still including this crap. I mean, this is not Windows XP anymore. Windows XP required a third party DVD decoder to watch DVD movies and stuff like that. Windows 7 Windows Vista have the software built in. They have the decoders already here. Cyberlink Media Show. Cyberlink Power DVD 9. This is in particular what I was talking about. The Power, the Power DVD. They've had this out in, I mean, since XP. They don't need this on Windows 7 and Windows Vista. Cyberlink UCAM. Wow. Energy Star. Power Saving. Hey, Windows already has that built in. E readers. HP Barnes and Noble Desktop E Reader. Games. Oh my gosh. Look at all the games they threw in here. HP Game Console. All casual games. All enthusiast games. All family games. All kids games. All MMO games. Bejeweled 2 Deluxe. Black Hawk Striker 2. Build a Lot 2. Chess Titans. Chuzzle Deluxe. Club Penguin. Dark Orbit. Diner Dash 2 Restaurant Rescue. Doors Carnival Adventure, Escape Rosecliff Item, Fate. What else we have here? Final Drive Nitro, Free Sale, Games Explore. Okay, we're just now moving down to some win to some Windows included games. Free set, I think Free Sale is one. Game Explore, that's Windows. Have a Hotel, this is HP. Hearts, Windows. Here's a Hellas 2, Olympia. HP included. These three internet games, these are Windows components. Jewel Quest 3. Jewel Quest Solitaire 2. These are HP included games. Mahong Titans. I believe this is a Windows included game. I'm not sure. Minesweeper. Windows game. More games from HP games. Penguins. Plants vs. Zombies. Pucker Superstars 3. Polar Bowler. Polar Golfer, Purple Place, this is a Windows game. And I've known some of these other games to be free trial stuff, like you can only do the very basic stuff, but you gotta purchase additional portions to get the rest of the game. 
C fight, HP game, solitaire, Windows component, spiral solitaire, Windows component, virtual families, HP, virtual villagers, and secret city. Both these are HP. Wheel of Fortune 2. World of Warcraft. Zuma Deluxe. Now, if I'm not mistaken, with World of Warcraft, you gotta, you gotta actually pay for this. Well, they include the junk load of games, didn't they? A little too much, in my opinion. I mean, a lot of people aren't gonna really care much for these games. Some people may like them, but <laughs> not everybody. Let's see. HP. HP Documentation. HP Download Store. HP Power Manager. HP Support Assistant. HP Wireless Assistant. There's that dumb wireless program. That don't even be need, don't even, that doesn't even need to be installed. I don't understand why they're even bothering to do that. Games. Oh look, here we have another thing for this games again. You're kidding me. See? Games. Games again. Why'd they do that? That's dumb. Maintenance. Microsoft product. I think this backup restore here that comes with Windows 7 is the ultimate way to keep your system backed up, not some third party program that I've seen in some of these OEMs install. Microsoft Silverlight. No internet security. No online backup. These both cost you. Online services. Get online. Skype. Recovery Manager. Roxio. Roxy Seminole. That was what I said, wasn't it? Yeah. Startup. Empty. Wow, this is actually empty. That's surprising. Windows Live. Yeah, let's see if this is the latest version. It's probably not. And of course not. At least I don't think. Not responding. <laughs> that's nothing. That's nothing surprising. It's OEM installed. Oh yeah, this is definitely the older version. The newer version of Windows Live doesn't constantly nag you to sign in. Sign in, please. This has got to be the worst version of Windows Live. I mean, no, no wonder XP users are forced to use it. They can't even get the Windows Live 2011, which this machine should have. But that's right, it's probably been in the box since, I don't know, summer? <laughs> August? September? Maybe sometime? Maybe June? I don't know. Okay, let's go ahead and restart this machine. I thought Gateway and HP machines were bad. This compact has more junk on it than I've ever seen. I mean, you should have seen all the games. All those games are installed. Unbelievable. Your free trial software bonanza. Windows startup. See how long it takes. Which of course this is gonna take a whole lot longer since it's a HP Compact modified copy of Windows, it's not an original Microsoft version. Even the custom builders that get the OEM copies of Windows for their machines still get the original Microsoft version. So I never get confused between OEM software for custom builders versus the junk that comes on these computers. See, so this has already taken quite long saying it's a supposedly a new computer. So the clean install Windows 7 program should take less time than this. Slow, slow, slow. Because it's heading to start up all that HP included trialware and junkware. Your hard job just erasing.
just load that HP advisor dock and that HP wireless assistant, you know, other HP things that load up in Norton free trial software and all that junk. Now, I, I imagine this HP advisor, this is probably a pretty good resource hog. Anyways, this computer will be getting the same treatment as the last computers I've been working on. This machine will be getting its hard drive formatted and the beginning a fresh install of Windows 7 the way it's supposed to be. Meant for performance, not for loaded free trial software. Before I move on, let's go ahead and look at something right quick. I notice with this machine, it has an awfully odd setup here. Notice here on the sticker it says Notebook PC and it has two gigs of memory budget AMD CPU with 512k of cache 2.3 gig decent screen see wireless LAN decent graphics and it has a 64-bit version of Windows 7 on it this is what blows my mind is they included a 64-bit operating system on a machine that only needed 32-bit because the only time you really need a 64-bit operating system is if your computer has a little over 3 gigs of memory because that's, that's as high as a 32-bit operating system can allocate. <clears throat> In my opinion is with computers that have like 2 gigs of memory, 32-bit operating systems will seem more snappy on those kind of machines because 64-bit operating systems do allocate a bit more memory than a 32-bit version would. So. When I format the hard drive and install Windows on this computer system, it's going to be getting a 32-bit operating system. After several attempts to actually finally access the BIOS on the sh machine, I tried using F1, F10, F12. First I, tried, I st first I tried to access the boot menu on this machine, which evidently there's no such thing. I press F1, it gives you system information. F2 comes up with this dumb HP diagnostics utility. So, what we got to do is configure the boot sequence on this machine. Change the order. See, they had the hard drive as first thing. Okay, so I have to press F5 to move it up. Okay, F6. That's USB. Okay. Now we go on with Windows installation. I already have the DVD inside the system. I'm going to boot off the DVD. I was going to select next. Install now. We're going to select home premium, thirty two bit. Accept the license terms and notice something here. We only have one set of license terms. There's no HP license terms here. Nice. Do a custom because we're wiping the hard drive. And take a look here. This is what's included on these computers. Now you buy from HP and all that. We have, of course, two video gig hard drive. This machine. We have this. System partitions, which is taking up 200 megabytes. We have recovery, 17.2 gigabytes, and HP tools, 103 megabytes. So in reality, you got a 215 gig hard drive unless you do the following. Let's go ahead and get rid of all these partitions.
So now you actually have two gigabytes of space, which in reality, in Windows, it'll show us 232.9 gigabytes, some, something around there. So now we actually have, you're actually able to use all the space that you paid for in the system. Go ahead and select next. And basically you'll just get to sit back and relax and wait on this to get done, which will take about 15 minutes or so. Now I'll go ahead and enter this information. I'll enter the product key later. Connect to a network. Skip this for now. It's home group setup. We'll finalize settings. Which we may have to install a graphics driver on this machine. Which I'll have to download the drivers for it and install the drivers. And then install the software in the QCareer Central software package. Yeah, we're definitely going to need a driver. Windows Update will probably take care of that. Now I've installed all the updates in the software. This is what a clean install of Windows 7 looks like with the Q Computer Essential Software Package. There's a few more icons on the desktop. We have Google Chrome, Movie Maker Vista Edition, W Reader 9, OpenOffice.org 3.2, all zip, Firefox, must backup, QuickTime, and Zoom Player. Click here in the programs. Go from the top. We have Adobe Reader 9, All Zip, which All Zip is a program that's free, and it can extract all sorts of different types of files from Zip to RAR and plenty of others. You have Apple Software Update, this is for QuickTime, Default Programs, Desktop Gadget Gallery, Internet Explorer, Movie Maker Vista Edition. This is the Vista Movie Maker, integrated into Windows 7 because the live Movie Maker is a really crappy replacement. And on any, nowadays on any Windows 7 install, I include this to give users the full functionality of Vista Movie Maker in Windows 7. Windows Anytime Upgrade, this is a Windows component. Windows DVD Maker, Windows Fax and Scan, Windows Live Mail, Windows Live Moon Maker, Windows Live Photo Gallery, Windows Media Center, Windows Media Player, Windows Update, XPS Viewer, which by the way, these Windows Live programs are the latest version, the Windows Live 2011. Move down here to the 7 zip. This is one of the programs that comes with all zip. Here's a video codec, accessories. Everything is original Windows in here. We have here DSCR5. This is another video codec. This is all zip. Games. All original Windows games. Google Chrome. KLAC codec pack. This is a full codec pack with all sorts of with all sorts of video codecs along with a player. This works quite well for me. This enables anybody to play almost any sort of video file without having to go out and find third party codecs, even a Windows Media Player. It's compatible. Maintenance. Windows Component. 
Microsoft Silverlight. Must backup. This is a Firefox backup utility. Backup all your Firefox settings in one little file. Mozilla Firefox. OpenOffice.org. This is a free alternative to, to Microsoft Office. You can edit and save and read and do all sorts of stuff with Microsoft Office files. And also you can save files in open document format with this program. It is completely free. You can register or not register or donate. QuickTime. Startup. Notice how my start folder is empty. Windows Live. And Zoom Player. This is another, um, what you could say, another video player that can play all sorts of different types of video files. Which, this is a free player. However, you can buy the professional version as well if that's, if that's what you prefer. We have Install Center, which installs new updates for video codecs. This is Zoom Player Standard. It's a decent little player. And that's what I install on my systems. Normally, I also install AVG Free, but this person is going to be having McAfee installed on the computer, so I went and slept that off. Notice here no free trial junkware. It's all open source free software that you see on my systems. And now I'll go ahead and do a restart of Windows 7 to see how fast it starts. This is a 32-bit version. It had 64-bit on originally. I don't understand why. Like I stated before, it didn't need it. This is a budget machine. Only a single core processor on this computer. A little bit faster, isn't it? Than what we originally was working with. Not by an extreme long shot, but we're seeing improvements here. Fresh install Windows 7 with programs. For the computer that it's running on, it's a decent startup. And here we go. All done. This computer is ready to go. It's much better now that it has a bloat free version of Windows on it. Anyways, that's pretty much the steps I go through when I receive one of these computers. I basically I showed you what junk is on these things when you get them. And I showed you the steps of what I do to get them out of that situation. I reinstall Windows, clean install. And then I throw all my, all my programs and stuff, which are all free and are open source, no trials. Any questions or comments? Let me know.